Hello and welcome back to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign and today we're going to be continuing on with the EVE Online Hauler series to start from zero, hopefully becoming a hauling superpower. Now it's been one week since the first video and I've only been playing one to two hours a day. This is more of a casual series catered to those people who don't have as much time, have families, have other stuff and I just want to prove that EVE Online can be played. You can get quite far as a casual player. So during the first week, the first day we didn't do too much we did some distribution missions which ended up finding out pretty quickly that i didn't want to do that that was uh the missions weren't what i thought they would be there was no picking up from one destination and dropping off at another there may have been missions like that somewhere along the line but what i found from the beginning was that i was dropping off like missions to drop off bombs at stations but you're not dropping off a bomb at a station you have to bring a weapon like that's not what we were going to do in this series that's not what haulers want to do if you want to be a space trucker you don't want to break immersion by doing missions supposed distribution missions that involve you being some sort of freedom fighter like that's not what you want i don't know why ccp have done that, that that's silly to me Maybe because I might just be being stupid and my idea of distribution has a distribution of goods, but I might just be looking at it wrong. Who knows? So what we started to do, I started to research some ways in order for us to make money hauling. Now there's a few different ways you can make money hauling. You can pick up contracts. And we did pick up a few contracts on the first day and we made a little bit of money. But what you have to do is find a contract that is worth your time and at this moment in time there's not many of them you're looking at 300k a jump 400k a jump 500k a jump and what my research led me to believe was that 1 million is a jump is the going good rate for a hauler so i started to do a bit more research and i found other things that i can do i can do station to station trading i can do region to region trading using third party tools on the internet which i will post the actual tool that i use I have been using and I have been making some very very decent money as a new player but well, not as a new player I'm an experienced player I've been playing since beta of EVE Online but I'm a new hauling player I don't I never really PvE'd I ratted when I needed to but I lived in a wormhole so we just ran around and made all the money we could and then like in a week and we had enough money to play the game for the rest of our lives so well, I've not really had that experience of playing solo. I've not had that experience of starting from scratch since like, what, 17 years now. So this is a new experience for me. So I didn't know what to do. So I went on this website and this website, let me get that up for you. So this website, evetrade.space, it gives you several options. You can do single station trading. Single station trading is where you trade in site. You don't have to leave the station to trade. So you sit in Jita, buy low, sell high. You don't go anywhere. That's pretty much what you do. That's not something I'm interested in. We're interested in hauling. So I looked at station to station trading, which gives you an option where you can jump from the station to station trading is more jumping from the main hub to main hub to main hub if you wish to do that. And what you do, you click on Jita as the place you're starting. If you're starting in Jita, you click on Amar if you're starting on Amar you go into what i normally do is click all of them the default is five hundred thousand. so this is what so i'll show you as an example uh, currently my capacity is nine thousand four hundred. we're only in an areas and we only have a couple of upgrades in there but i wanted to keep the jump speed below five seconds so having 10,000 max cargo capacity and your like your get to warp speed below five seconds for me was a pretty good compromise the maximum budget you'll see how much my maximum budget but we'll put 500 million in here for example so only return profits above so when we're going to click search on here this will then go through all of the buy orders in the game and what we there's actually a pretty nice one from jita to amar right now on here with a 13 million isk profit of hafnium you buy 25,000 at 14,400 isk and you fly the haul to amar and you sell at 15,360 per. This is 529 ISK per item with a return on investment of 3.7%. Now it also shows you the total volume. So you can grab multiple orders. So then when you go into the filter station type, you can go into Jita or Amar. So you can Amar, for example, and then it will show you all of the trades that are worth in your criteria that you've done. So you'll be earning over a net profit of 500,000 ISK, which is the default. You can change that to a million. Now I should be logging on right now and grabbing the Hafnium, the Tungsten Carbide and the Disparate. 
because I can get that as a 20 million around ish is call from Jita to MR, which is pretty damn good. That would take you maybe 10 minutes to run from there. Like it is back and forwards. And Amara, Jita to Amara and Amara to Jita is pretty much where I've been making most of my money. Now, sometimes you get really lucky, which you'll see in a second when we did a breakdown. That's pretty much it on that front. And then when you go to region to region, you basically, you can just say you're in the forge, you're in Jita. So you type in here, the forge, you have the forge up there. You go to the destination, but what I normally do is sell to nearby regions. So you want profits above, let's put 1 million in there. Let's see if that's 1 million. I don't think that is. That's 10 million. So 1, wait, that's 100,000. 1 million. Okay, we were correct the first time. 9,400 car cargo capacity. And say we have 500 million budget. Where the return on investment, a minimum of 4%, only high sec and shortest route. Let's have a look, see if we have anything to sell. Sometimes it won't have stuff come up here because usually when uh, region to region trading, you'll find a lot of NPC trades to be done. So you'll be making money, shifting like vaccines and stuff, which you, you can make money doing if this in a downtime. If you have more than the amount of hours that I have to play a day, it's pretty good for you. As you can see right now, it hasn't really found anything. Oh, nope. See, there's nothing worth a million. So that if you put it down to 500,000, you'll find a lot of NPC hauling type stuff. So that is where and what we've been doing. So let's have a look and do the weekly breakdown of how much we have made. So if I bring up the Excel sheet over here, so first episode, week one, what we have here, are the, oh wait, we have some traders in the background. Let's have a look. So I can show you that quickly. It just popped up last second. So what we have over here, see there's, there's some decent net profits over here. So from Jita, to Valene, you buy four 18th tier overseas personal effects at 37.3 million and you sell them at 43.2 million. It's three jumps, 6 million ISK per jump and 18 million ISK profit. There's a lot of these here. Actually, I'm not sure what that is to be honest, but that's something that you definitely, that's a lot of profit and there's a lot of them. I might have to log in and go do that, but we're not gonna do that right this second. Hopefully that will still stay there. Let's go through the weekly breakdown. Right, so we have made 528.6 million ISK in the first week playing on this account. That's with no help from other people. That's from no help from other characters where I have ISK. This is just what we have got on this character. So in our, in our sitting in our personal wallet, we have 429 million ISK and we have 533.9 million ISK net worth. That's including the ship and the ship value, etc., and what you have in your item hold. Now, if we go to the first week breakdown, which is right here, hopefully you can see that on the screen. We might need to make that a little bigger. So put that up here and make that a little bigger for you. Okay. So on the first day, we made 2.9 million is doing the distribution missions, which was terrible. So I decided to have a look at the station to station, as we said earlier. So what we got 110 plex with buying our first 30 days. So they gave you 110 isk, uh, 110 plex for that. So we sold that as a sort of starting monetary fund, which gave us about 240 million isk. So when I moved from there, we started to go into the, the website. We found some trades that we would be interested in. Those trades came up and we picked them up and I started to put them inside of the ship. This is when we did a sort of, I did a few upgrades. You can see I spent 2 million on upgrades on the Nereus to make the ship hold bigger and the ship value went up by a couple of million isk as it would when you upgrade it. And then we moved on to day three where we actually didn't do anything that day. So even one of the days, so we only played six days and we made five, over, just over 500 million isk. And you go to the next day, which we have our first loss. Now this was a loss that kind of like pissed me off a little bit mainly because i just bought the ship i just upgraded it i fitted a lot of stuff in it spent 20 million on upgrading it and i wanted to try and do a different kind of jumping method jump into a low sex system and buy low in a low sex system and sell high in a high sex system uh, and the opposite as well so go i was flying towards a low sex system and there was a guy on a gate with 15 materials just smart bombing the gate and we lost the ship, we lost the haul, we lost 40 million isk, which as a newer, newer account is quite a big dent. But luckily, before that, we made about 30, 35 million isk on hauling, doing the normal stuff we did. So we managed to like counteract how much we lost because we had skill book costs on this one as well, 780,000, which I accidentally bought 
uh, a couple of drone skill books so i'm not sure <laughs> that was just an accident on my front that was in the um what we need to get into the next ship which is the okita when we go into the dst route where we start making some real money if you go to day five you can see how much we actually made in about an hour's worth of hauling we made around 30 million isk and that we made 30 million is profit after upgrading and buying a new Nereus. So we made about 35, 36 million isk on that day, which is okay. I did a really big risk haul on this one. I put 250 million isk worth of goods inside of my shit fit Nereus and moved it from Jita to Amar, which could have been very bad for me because I'm pretty much a one shot in an Nereus. And uh, there's plenty of people sitting outside of Jita that are waiting or a 250 million isk areas to fly out and get one popped but i did it i did it and it worked it was a lot of twitchy bumhole stuff and sweating during the way there but we got it and we made our profit but on day six is when we got stupidly lucky so i went on that website the eve trade.space and i was in jita and what popped up at the top was at first all i saw was 180 million isk profit i was like what so i went and had a look and i was buying uh i was buying like uh, the product for 90 million isk and selling it for 280 million isk and i was like I, that couldn't be right that has to be a scam that 100 percent has to be a scam and the item was like a a, a miss federation trophy replica it, it wasn't even worth anything so like i i thought it was one of those situations where i would like i i, I you'd pick it up from here they'd see that you've picked it up for 90 million isk and then they'd close down the buy order the sell order or the buy order in the in amar which i've heard of before not really seen anyone do it yet so it was kind of a weird one but i thought you know what is it it'll be fun if we risk it so i i bought it for 90 million isk and the whole entire way there the whole entire way to amar i was sweating I was wondering if we actually screwed up and I'm just going to have to tell you guys in the video that yeah I got uh, I even read it off I even wrote in the notes on the excel sheet before I even got to a mask scam 100 blah blah right to make sure that I had all the information written down that I have how much we lost how much we could have made how they caught me in the scam and it was going to be a whole explanation of what that was on there but <laughs> I got to a mark and I right clicked the item and I, so I did it so quickly just in case someone else just in case just the, just in case there was a slight chance that it wasn't a scam I right clicked it and there was no sell item and I, I sort of my head hit my hands and I was like shit but what I'd done because I was moving so fast was that I tried to sell it out of the cargo hold of the ship so like uh, I couldn't actually do a sell up from there so I dragged it over into the hold into the item hold of the station I right click and shock horror there was actually 280 million isk buy order for a miss universe trophy replica that is completely useless in this game someone just spent nearly 300 million isk on a completely useless item and that person was trying to buy three of them now i couldn't find another buy order or a, a, the, the replica trophy at all like uh, I tried to find the other two so I could sell them and make some more profit, but I couldn't find them at all. So we made a pretty decent amount on that sixth day. And on the seventh day, we made a pretty standard amount again. We made another 33.1 and that's with an hour's play casual in the morning when I get up, do have a look at the website, see if there's anything there and then I'll grab everything. And then, so in my criteria, I pretty much just grab everything between Jita and Amar and do one sale each way. And that's how much we're making a day. If you spent more hours a day, you can make much more isk doing this. So we made 496 million within six days of playing one hour ish, maybe a little bit more on some days a day. We're almost halfway to a billion isk within the first week. The net worth is 533.1, which is what you'd actually calculate how much you are making because that includes your ships, includes your what items you have in cargo holds, etc, etc. And we're still just using the standard Nereus ship we're using. We did do some upgrades. We spent 47.6 million isk on upgrades and we spent 20. The the ship value by the end of the week was 23.3. We lost a maximum of 39.7 million isk in ships and the skill book cost was 708,000. All in all, our profits, not including 
what we lost was 592 million isk and that's on a brand new account that we started last week i feel that like uh the hauling will actually be the hauling is actually viable for a casual player you can actually if if it keeps going like this and you get quite lucky maybe it's like a uh, expiration where you're it's quite rng if you can lucky enough to find that one that i found and make money that way but even if you're making 30 million isk an hour like you can i believe that this is actually viable enough for you to plex your account just hauling but we'll have to see what comes up in the next couple of weeks so just to show you that we're not actually messing around with the transactions like we actually ha are playing for an hour a day so you can see we're actually starting at around six o'clock and we're finishing between 7 30 8 o'clock one to two hours a day they're all pretty much the same now if we go back to 05 48 we started buying some stuff and we finished selling our stuff at 7 a.m so like we're playing we're doing the hour of work and i will just show you if i can find it what day was the day that i bought that replica this is where we sold our plex on the first day 250 million isk and we started to do our trading straight away now let's see if we can find that big boy so we bought it for 99 million 950 thousand isk and we sold it for 289 million isk like why how did we do that that is a beautiful beautiful thing but we managed to do it we sold it to him for 289 million it's fantastic it started us jump started us off we started buying some other things and making like 5 million is gonna run for example like you guys might think i'm a bit silly for putting in over 100 million is gonna narius but so far we're going okay and i'm in mad profits as long as we keep in the green it is not a problem what you lose can be covered as long as you're making the isk back I hope you enjoyed the video i hope you want to see some more next week when we go if continue on our road to plexing an account using only hauling station to station trading will now be what the series is and we'll hopefully i'll keep an eye on the contracts see if we can find some contracts but for me the contracts are just silly people are just putting up contracts for stupidly low prices and it's why no one's hauling anything anymore if you enjoyed it press that like button if you'd like to see some more press that sub button i will be posting these videos every tuesday at 8 p.m utc for your pleasure fly safe